Hey gang, it's Brian from FX Billiards. Today I want to talk to you about transitioning from eight ball to nine ball and why you have a problem. I know a lot of you grew up playing eight ball in the United States that is like the go-to game. There are actually people out there that don't realize there are other pool games other than eight ball, I swear, okay? <laughs> and I know that a lot of people are trying to get into nine ball, especially low intermediate players, and feeling all kinds of frustration because you can't run a rack. First off, you have to understand, when you watch us run racks on YouTube, we have tens, 20, 30 years into this game that allows us to shoot the way we do. And running racks, going from being an eight ball player, even a decent eight ball player, to running racks in nine ball, is not a one month, two month, or even five year thing for a lot of people. An eight ball, you might think you're a decent eight ball player because you get to shoot a lot of balls in the pockets, but the reality is in eight ball, you are constantly, constantly being bailed out. It's like a golfer that misses a putt and gets to pick five other spots that he might want to putt from uh, after the first putt. It's, it's just, an easy game as far as putting balls in the pocket. So you may not be a terrible nine ball player, you may just be getting bailed out in eight ball so often that your eight ball game is not quite where you think it is. Okay gang, I'm gonna break and run this rack of nine ball for you, I'll tell you what I'm doing, and then in the voiceover and on the screen, I'll give you some additional information that you can use in your game so that you can develop into a decent nine ball player. So let's get started. I'm expecting to make that brown seven in a uh, corner pocket there. So we made our wing ball, we made our head ball, which was the one ball of course. Uh, normally we would take ball in hand here because we're at the table to practice running racks, not to kick balls around. I'm not gonna take ball in hand, even though this is not a layup in the side, but I'm pretty sure I can run out from here so you guys will pick up some tips. So I'm gonna just roll this over, play the two in the side. We get on the three. Now, here's a quick tip for you. This is the problem that a lot of eight ball players have. We're on the three. Now keep in mind our pattern here. We played the two, we're on the three. Now we're coming back down here for the four. We're going back up there with the five. We're coming back down here with the six. Okay, the seven's off the table because we made it on the break. But we're getting over there for the eight ball. And eight ball, when you play eight ball, you don't have this problem because you get bailed out constantly in eight ball. You can work your way up you can get out of position and have three or four other choices. This is one of the things. If you don't practice going up and down the table, you are never going to be a good nine ball player. So there's your most current tip. So we're playing the three. I could go off of three rails and come around here and, and get on this four ball. It would not be wise because I'm just sending the cue ball on a very long trip that it doesn't have to go on with a chance of colliding with that eight ball and ending my run. So I'm just gonna tap this in, take the long shot that I'm gonna be given and go from there. So there we have our long shot on the four and I'm gonna take this magic rack up I can shoot a stop shot. Well, it'll be more of a stun shot because it'll drift towards the rail. But if I can get an angle on the five ball, getting on the six should not be a problem. So we have a very slight angle. But you know what? I don't mind because I'm gonna give myself another long shot. This is another, here's your second tip. You're gonna have more long shots in nine ball than you have in eight ball. Again, 
eight ball, you get bailed out. You got little shots all over the table to choose from. I have to take this all the way down table, and then I'm gonna have to come back all the way down here for the six ball. The only reason I can't stun this or draw it back and give myself a real easy shot is I'm shooting over this six. So I could do it. Is it the best choice? Probably not, but you know what? It's not gonna cost us anything. Let's see what the shot looks like. Actually, this is, um, I'm just gonna tap it in. Give myself an angle. And now I have a nice angle to get on the eight. The eight to the nine is automatic. So I, I don't mind getting a little straight on this eight ball here. I just don't wanna be uh, too much against the rail. So I'm just gonna get close to it. And now we can tap this in, drift out here, and play the nine in the same corner pocket. And we are out. So, here are your tips with that rack. Number one, learn to break consistently. We know the wing ball is going there. We know the one's coming over here. We, I can show you, we're gonna have videos that show you where each ball in a nine ball break is likely to end up after the break. You are going to have shots that you normally would not have to take an eight ball. So you're gonna to have to be a better shot maker as far as long shots go. Number two, you're going to have position from one end of the table to the other, which you don't have that much in eight ball because the balls, not only do they stay at one end of the table for the most part, but you very rarely have to go from one end to the other. And by the way, an eight ball, if you're shooting the three ball down there and the five ball down here and the seven ball up there and then the six ball down here, you are playing God awful position. You should break up your table in eight ball and work, work one end of the table and then the other end of the table. Now, how do you improve your nine ball game? Breaking and running like I just did, is going to drive some of you nuts. You're going to get on the two ball, you're never going to make the three. Your end, you found the end of your run. But this is what you do. The simplest, most logical, most used way to get to that point is to play against the ghost, but not with nine balls. You start out with three, and you just randomly throw them on the table. And then you're going to shoot them off in rotation. You're gonna have a race to 10, you against the ghost with just three balls. When you can beat three, then you throw another ball out, okay? When you can beat four, you throw another ball out. When you are consistently running racks, six balls, you get up to six, seven, then you're probably gonna be running nine ball racks. Until then, don't drive yourself nuts. Don't learn to hate the game because you've never run more than four balls in a row. Now, here's one of our problems with nine ball. We have the one down here, the two's up there, the three's down here, the four is up there, and the five is down here. This might as well be a drill, okay? And this is why a lot of guys can't run nine ball racks. So here, we're gonna just run these off. I'll show you how I get through it. And just to give you an idea, of what you're gonna be doing when you're working on this idea of starting with three, four, and then five. Okay, so let me just call out the shots for you. A Couple things we could do to get on this two ball. Um, a lot of guys would do something that involves this side of the table because that's where they see the two. That's a bad idea because we may end up behind one of these balls. It's, it's surprising how guys have such a little, a small area where they could screw up and they managed to find that spot. <laughs> it's just amazing. All right, this shot is gonna be a little exotic for some of you, but uh, it puts into play how difficult it is sometimes to go from one end of the table to the other. So this is gonna be low left, so I can come off of that rail, get down here on this three here, which um, should make it relatively easy for me to get on the four. The five is makeable for, from so many places on the table. I'm not even concerned about it at this point.
but I did think that far in advance. So this is low left, low left draw shot. So we got nice position on this three ball. I'm just going to draw this back to give myself a really easy shot on the four, but still just a slight angle. We'll stun this. We'll be pretty close to the rail, but this five, like I said earlier, uh, is simple. So this is what you're going to do, guys. You're going to do it as many times as it takes you to win 10 or lose 10. Start with three balls, then four, then five. Work your way up. Then one day you'll be running racks. And Brian taught you how to do it. All right. Hit me in the comments. Subscribe. Hit that little notification bell, please. Hit the notification bell so you know when we're uploading new videos. We are going to be hammering them out for you guys this year. And I've got a lot already in the can. I don't want you to miss those. So make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell, hit me in the comments, and give us a thumbs up. You got a little checklist, okay? It'll all take less than 40 seconds. Have a great day.